I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Sadly, Obi-Wan, that is not the case. What's up, heathens? So today, obviously, we're going to be talking about the SpaceX launch with the Falcon Heavy ro rocket and the Tesla car that show the complete spherical Earth. Now, you would think this would be good enough for flat earthers. I mean, they've been telling us for so long to get them an actual picture of the Earth. But we're going to find out today exactly how they reacted to an independent third party outside of any other government launching a rocket up there to take a picture of the spherical Earth. Well, the oblate spheroid. So, if you want to see how they responded to it, stay tuned! So let's get on into it, shall we? Now, obviously the best place to look for this kind of shit is in Facebook groups. <laughs> and that's where I went. I found some people that I think really buy into it. At least they're using a lot of the same arguments and so I've screen capped some. And we're gonna go through them and we're gonna show how they're wrong. So here's how the official Flat Earth Society Facebook page responded. While we are happy to see space efforts move to the private sector from the government sector, it's hard to trust Elon Musk to report the truth, or really any privately held company. Even folks like Wozniak don't believe a word he shares. Believing in a globe because you saw it on the internet is the equivalent of saying I saw it on the telly so it must be true. I can't imagine a sillier sentiment. I fail to see how folks trust these new age monopoly Sputniks. All it seems to take is a car commercial and mad something or another. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so basically they're taking the whole idea that, oh, Elon Musk can't be trusted because he's showing us a globe earth. Now, if he had shown a flat earth, totally trustworthy but since it was a spherical earth or an oblate spheroid obviously can't be trusted he's an illuminati shill wozniak says that he can't be trusted so why the fuck should we this is of course ridiculous i don't know how these people expect to see a picture of the flat earth if it's not on a television computer video somehow like i don't know how they expect to see it but even by their own criteria you shouldn't expect any pictures of a flat earth either my guess is, is that they only trust one book, the holy book, the good book. Which book is that again? Okay, see, now this is just funny. Uh, this isn't a response or anything like that. I mean, it, this is just hilarious. But of course, if the cameras on the Tesla Roadster would have shown a flat earth, they would have been all over it like wide on fucking rice. Abahi Jiwia, Jiwa says, even if SpaceX spent the next 50 years improving their rocket tech, they wouldn't go anywhere close to the dome. So exactly how far up is this fucking dome? I mean, are we talking further than a space shuttle can fly? Does the dome include Mars? I mean, you people think that the sun and the moon are contained in the dome, so I don't get the distances of actual, like, planets out there that we know to be true to fit inside the dome. Still curious. How far up is this fucking dome? It's way far, guys. Okay, here's another one from Jiwa. He may be a troll. I don't know. A lot. I mean, it's easy to troll as a flat earther because all you gotta do is say a bunch of stupid shit. So, I mean, honestly, I have to take all of these as if they were actual statements. As long as you think rockets are the way to go up, as long as you keep sharing BS programs like SpaceX, you will never know. I will never know what. I feel like this is an incomplete thought here. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. If a photo is all the evidence you need, what else will? So apparently a photo isn't good enough now, even though they asked for a photo beforehand and now a photo isn't good enough. It's like, all you need is a photo. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we could bring up that photo from before with the flat earth in the background. See, the thing is, is that we know how that photo and the Loch Ness Monster thing and the Bigfoot thing, I mean, we know how those were created. And we know how the, the, the Tesla footage was created because they actually sent a fucking Tesla in space. The Globies Paradox. This YouTube vid meme doesn't prove the flat earth. Here, watch this YouTube vid meme. Did I miss anything? 
Okay, see, here's a major difference between evidence given in YouTube form or meme form from, you know, an, an oblate spheroid proponent uh, versus a flat earth proponent. The oblate sphere person actually has evidence to back it. Like the video is not just going to be like po uh, like a camera fucking pointing at the sky showing, see the dome up there? That's a lot of fucking water. It's not what it's going to be. Like it's going to explain to you like how gravity works or how planets rotate around the sun or, or, how ro or how planets spin or why the spin is a good thing for the earth and how, and all it, like it's going to explain shit to you. All you get out of out of flat Earth videos are you can say you say that horizon horizontal horizon. Do you see it yet? Look at this. These plateaus are actually just big fucking trees. Those are the major differences. The the difference with the flat Earth is that they don't have evidence. All you have are people that are making observations that are myopic as fuck. All right, here's from another flat Earth page. SpaceX debunked the globe model in just under three minutes. So what they do is they take a very small portion of the video and say, ha ha, it looks flat. When in actuality, you can detect a slight curve there, but they don't want to admit that. Courtney shares, cartoons for kids. And it's a uh, Lightning McQueen from the Cars thing. Cartoons for adults. And it's, you know, the Tesla Roadster circling the earth. Or well, it's not circling the earth, but it's, in front of the earth or whatever. So, th I mean, this is, this is very interesting because, um, it's not a cartoon. It's a real fucking video. Whereas the other one is CGI. I feel like we're getting into it. That's what's all fucked with CGI shit kind of territory. Oh, I was right. Mark Nelson cars in space. Lol. Definitely not photoshopped. Lol. Lol. Gullible globies. Fake news. So, I mean, the, the, I, I have to admit, I was really surprised when I saw like the Tesla Roadster, like with the earth in the background, I was like, what the fuck is that? And like, I was really surprised to hear that he launched a, a thing. Like I didn't really keep track of the, uh, the Falcon heavy rocket launch. I just thought it was another rocket launch, but no nope, fucking put Tesla up in the, he can sell $5 million or whatever worth of flamethrowers to people and send a goddamn car into space. Holy fuck this guy. <laughs> and then this, this shitty Photoshop, it's, it's a, so it's Elon Musk's head on a clown's body. And at the bottom, it says space is fake. Like I, 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 I get the whole memeing thing to make fun of it and everything like that. But seriously, I mean, it, this would be like mocking people for thinking that germs cause diseases. These, these are just, this is just shit that you know, or that you're, you're taught from a young age because it's actually fucking fact. So making fun of it actually just makes you look stupid. All these people on their fucking math. I can do my budget without math. That's what it's like. Samuel Phelps. Nah, fam. Green screen and shit in it. Okay. So I've been seeing this a lot lately too. Uh, the other things were kind of ridiculous, but this right here is like that. That's the Tesla car, you know, prior to launching. Um, and so what they've been doing is taking pictures of the Tesla car while it was still in the launch bay and saying, Nope, look, it's faked because here's this. And then they'll, what they'll also do is turn up the uh, exposure uh, in order to show any kind of discrepancies in the background or anything like that. And so, I mean, it doesn't really make sense because of course those, those pictures aren't Photoshopped or anything, but neither is the earth in the background, uh, on, on the ones that we've been seeing floating around, <laughs> but they've been taking this one particular instance and saying, Oh, nope, it was Photoshopped because it was here. And this looks like a sound stage, green screen stage, or what the fuck ever. This one's actually funny too. This is a good one. Oh, hi Mars. <laughs> Max Neely, why do globe heads always engage in ad hominem personal attacks instead of debating my logic? I, I don't think that you need to talk about globe heads resorting to ad hominem attacks. Fuck a scientist, fuck him. He can suck my balls. You globe believers can suck my balls. Come on y'all, open y'all fucking eyes, man. Up, uh, Nicola, Nicholas Hunter Pitts, 360 video fam. <laughs> so, I mean, the 360 video thing is a common deal with flat earthers. They say that, 
like, you know, they're just th filming them in a way that gives it a curve. And so it's not a true representation of what you see. Now, true 360 video does give things curved when they're not actually curved, but that's not what we're seeing in the video. And all the thousands of satellites and space debris went hiding because Hollywood star is coming. All hail CGI. Okay, well, for one thing, there is a lot of space junk that surrounds the Earth, but a lot of them are very, very small. And you can't see them in the other picture, just like you can't see the stars because the, the uh, camera isn't exposing enough light. Like it's not taking in enough light in order to be able to see the stars or see reflections off of these little satellites. And also in order to, you know, launch the rocket and have a trajectory, you would have to have somewhat of a clearer path, you know, for it to get out of there without it hitting anything. So, I mean, this really isn't a good uh, argument against it because for one, you can't see them. And also they would have plotted a path where you don't run into any satellites. Well, those are all of the, you know, flat earth responses that I found. I know it's not much, but I hope that you guys appreciated it. I felt like cataloging this moment because, you know, it's so easily uh, kind of lost in the mess of the internet these days. So if you will share this video with a flat earther that you love, and I guess we will see you heathens later. Make sure you go down below and leave a comment. Also, smash that like button while you're down there. Don't forget to stand up, use your voice. Bye, heathens.